What is up, my party people? This is Be Rather Gold Dad. We are back at it again. We're on the creek, and we are just getting set up down there. We are gonna dig this channel today, all the way up to where I was digging, and we're gonna see how much gold we can get to quarter inch and run them through the sluice. All right, guys, let's get some test pans done. I have learned a lot from my mistakes over the years and a big mistake that a lot of people make is when you first get out to the creek you let the gold fever take over and you just start moving dirt and you find a little bit of gold and you think you're on it. So my point is, is before you go gung-ho and start chucking bucket after bucket or shovel after shovel assuming that your gold is there, do your due diligence, do some gold pans, Go 10 feet in the opposite directions and find your best pay. You'll find out that in a lot of cases that the gold is there, but you'll hone in onto one area that you really want to dig and spend your efforts on. I did that here and as you can see out of three test pans, we have a pretty good amount of gold. Get started! Okay, on this day I did 12 okay. buckets, but this is number one and number two. That's a big hole. So that was a close call. Almost died to death. But all right, let's get moving. We're gonna process these buckets. So here you'll see me classifying Except everything down a quarter inch. And then dipping my shovel We're into the other bucket none of this. to wash off any gold stuck to it. That's the I like to do this because stuff. it just ensures and gives me a peace of mind that I am keeping everything that I'm digging up because the fact is, is nobody else has ever seen that. So it's super special to me to make sure that I actually keep everything I unearth. I'm pretty happy. We're working on the first bucket today. And uh, we're gonna see how this goes. I got my V lined up real nice through here. And I know I'm on good gold because I can see it in the indicator mat in the deep V up top. It's falling out all through here. This is exactly what you want to see. Smooth, consistent water flowing through all of your different working surfaces. This will help ensure keep all the gold in your box. So, I think we're doing all right. You'll see that I pour my material in widthwise of the box. This ensures that the water stratifies the material over the deep V and through the box evenly. Guys, there is great gold in this box. I know it's hard to see with the water. But look at that gold. Absolutely loaded. And I am so grateful to have found this deposit for the 100 bucket There's challenge. There's gold everywhere. There's not too much down there, but we have the catch safe. We know Dream Mat works, so if it makes it down this far, she'll get snagged. It'll go home with me. All right, guys, we're six buckets deep, and it's time to do a cleanup. So let's get this sluice out of the water so you can see what kind of gold is actually in the sluice. That's just the V mat. That's not what's in any of the rest, and that's not even all of it. It's all littered down through there. That's just what I can get tapped up. All right, guys, the sluice is back in the water. This is going to be the final run, the next six buckets for the entire day, which equaled 12 total buckets. I did not hit my 18 bucket target. I just ran out of steam and out of time. So go ahead and check this out. Here is a quick pan back. Here's just a little sneak peek. And that's not even what I sucked up in the snuffer yet. Well, all right, guys, this is today's cleanup. It has to dry, and we'll put it on the scale. Well, all right, guys, I was hoping to break three grams, and I got pretty close. This is one of my best one-day cleanups. So, guys, until we see each other again, heavy pans, and we gotta get the gold.